Welcome to TradingBM.com. This is John Supports for the 27th. Well, Friday saw a nice little bounce back right off the 76% uh, coming off the little deep decline. Again, pretty easy here. You got the ABM yellow uh, above and it's modestly bullish, but uh, definitely below uh, clear short. Still don't have a crossover of MBI white uh, over red. So while you're in a weak zone here with the magenta below uh, yellow, uh, nothing too extreme at this particular stage. Uh, we're right at the zero point with the shakeout, uh, but with rising gold, theoretically should be enough to hold things on, but uh, Definitely going to be watching the MBI White because uh, continued move of that to a crossover state uh, would definitely present uh, a much more uh, negative bias. If that's what you want to refer to it as. Uh, for the most part, this is just a little bit of easing uh, back and forth. But the NASDAQ uh, pretty much gained back all of the decline from the previous day. So that was pretty strong from it, even uh, with uh, the, the softer setup overall. And that's just because things got a little extreme. Even for the shakeout here, moving above the 15, but slightly back below. Still, it's all pretty congruent. Uh, it's just a slight shift in the momentum of things, and that's actually rather healthy because at least it fills in um, and lets everyone know that you know discovery of price has really occurred at a particular level. Treasury is going nowhere in it, and I think that just continues to point out exactly the difficulty uh, for most fund managers and that at this particular stage, where else are you going to put your resources? I just The market is the only spot, um, and then you can just select whether it's going to be into commodities. And that gold has been, you know, in a retrace here. It's filled in all of its positive extremes and starting to build back the base again. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, you make it an easing of the rate of increase in inflation, but you haven't changed the fact that. Uh, there's no turnaround in price action. Everyone's really excited about the euro uh, simply because the eurozone is doing so well. Uh, and they think that uh, the eurozone is going to take off comparative to uh, the U.S. So uh, that actually helps S&P, oddly enough, because a higher euro with the exchange rates and the amount of business that S&P 500 companies do overseas makes that a viable option. From a gold standpoint, uh, not too bad. I mean, relatively speaking, we've seen that along with uh, uh, oil really starting to, you know, baseline, start to develop a base. I mean, reference that earlier chart as gold, but it was oil. Um, and likewise, I think you're going to see the same thing. Uh, gold is going to continue to climb along with uh, the potential for cryptos. Now, Bitcoin has pretty much been slowed down. All the excitement has uh, shifted to uh, ETH at this particular stage. And that's simply because of the whole uh, ETF situation. So all that stuff is getting back up to uh, that relative high, which has just pretty much equalized it back to uh, Bitcoin. So you have that as your alternative uh, sector and, you know, uh, the battle will rage and definitely I don't think there's ever going to be an end to that battle. You know, it's the, the gold, silver versus uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum construct and you can play that one out forever. Um, at the end of the day, um, the more and more hedge funds that get into some exposure into Bitcoin and that, well, that that's all you need to know. I mean, if that's where money's going, that's where money's going. It doesn't really matter. It's a store of value. That's that. Uh, and then they're going to trade it. Uh, from a 50K standpoint, we had that nice decline. And then we saw the turnaround of magenta coming back above right at the base here. And that continued to maintain itself. And uh, at a point where you could see a potential cross, but you still have magenta leading uh, as well as the... MBI blue, when it crosses back above that uh, uh, gray there, usually you're going to continue your upside move. So it's all fairly clean intraday. It was just sort of like back and forth for the most part up at the even. And then they just filled back in positive extremes at the end of the day, all the way back to the beginning of the breakout there. No shock. And then right now we're pretty flat uh, to begin the European uh, session at least from the ending of Friday but um, there's still some softness and it's going to be expected at this particular stage given what we see from the bigger readings so let's continue to play the readings as they are and uh, 
uh, going into the month end, we might see a little bit more fireworks uh, before it's all said and done. So we're looking forward to it. As always, anything relevant, I'll put it on the Skype chat for you. Have a good one. Trade well.